Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Chainlink. We're going to be looking at a lot of custom charts for the link valuation against the US dollar, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Just providing a general market update. If you guys do like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go for a very modest 500,000 subscribers. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first chart is the valuation of link versus time. And again, it's color coded by the risk metric that we've used over, over the years. And what you'll notice is that there have been three major times in Link's history when it went to these valuations that called for a risk level in the upper region. The one back in earlier 2021 did not actually make it there. It's not really that surprising to see that considering that Link didn't perform um, as quite as well as some of the other altcoins. So what we wanna do is we wanna take a, a close look at where we are and, and we're going to do so with a lot of different charts, okay? So, you know, this one shows that we went down to a risk level that we hadn't really been to, this darker blue, since the end of 2018. Okay, we hadn't even been to these risk levels in, in a really long time. Um, now, with that said, we also recognize that the valuation of LINK is completely dependent on Bitcoin volatility. If Bitcoin kicks the bucket or something like that, then it's going to drag the entire altcoin market down with it. So we have to recognize that. But what we can do is we can we can actually look at the this is the this is the same chart here, except we're plotting the risk on the secondary y-axis. And you can see so we have three up here, and then the most recent one, we never really had that push. We never had that push up to like say the 0.9 or 0.8 wristbands. It never actually came back in early 2021. And one of the things we always talked about back in 2019 and 2020 was when Link was doing really, really well, we didn't really know how it would perform when Bitcoin went on its own run, right? We did not know. We simply did not have enough data. All we knew was that when Bitcoin was in a bear market and accumulation phase, Chainlink did exceptionally well. So when we look at this and we go say, look at the Link Ether valuation, it's dropped to levels that we haven't really seen since way over here at launch, before we even had our, our first little bunny hill move, okay? Um, so the evaluation of Link against Ethereum has taken a, a pretty heavy beating over the last year, to say the least. And I think we, you know, we need to look, and we're gonna look at TradingView in a few minutes, we're gonna look at that chart and try to see where we might be, okay? Where we could be in the Link Ether valuation based on some recent price movements, based on where Bitcoin currently is. Now, one thing I like to show you guys is the valuation of LINK when Bitcoin's below, uh, below the 20 week SMA and when Bitcoin's above the 20 week SMA. And what do you notice? If you just take a look back, would you rather have LINK in the yellow region or would you rather have LINK in the red region? Well, a lot of people would say they just would rather have LINK no matter what because they, they see it as a long-term investment. But you also might say, well, if I only had to pick one time to hold it, either in the yellow or in the red, I would prefer to hold it in the red, right? I'd prefer to hold it then. Why? Well, that's when it essentially goes parabolic. I mean, that's when it goes up. That's when it, it mainly does its thing. You look at all the other times. Look at what happened when it was in the yellow region. Yellow corresponds to Bitcoin being below the 20-week simple moving average. Doesn't really do much. Right? I mean, if you look from where it left it to where it got back above it, uh, same valuation, more or less same valuation, more or less same valuation. This one dropped like a rock. It recently turned red. Okay, now what does that mean? Does that mean that we can just walk this chart on down to the bank and, and try to cash it in for uh, a parabolic move by Chainlink upcoming? No, because we, we've only just gotten above the 20 week. And by when I say we, I mean Bitcoin has only just gotten above the 20 week. There have been periods in the past where we saw very brief periods of time where Bitcoin was above the 20 week, but it was not held for any sustainable amount of time. We just were above it for a very short period of time. And consequentially, Link didn't really do anything. But it does give a, it does provide a glimmer of hope that if Bitcoin does hold the 20 week, then maybe Link can get back on track, right? And it's about damn time. So 
this is an interesting chart because again, it, it just breaks it down based on whether Bitcoin's above the 20 week or below the 20 week. And you can see that there's a complete night and day difference between what Link does when Bitcoin's above it or when Bitcoin's below it. Now, if you go look at a similar chart, this one is looking at the same thing, whether Bitcoin's above it or below it, but it's plotting the Link Bitcoin valuation. And there ha there's not a, a, whole, a whole lot of difference here, okay? But what we can say is that recently it has started to seemingly level off some, and it looks like we are in a new trend now. We're no longer in this upwards trend that we were on. It's possible we get back to it, but we are a long ways from it now. So now we maybe we're just in some, in some new trend. It's more or less just moving sideways at this point over the last half year or so. Um, with you know periods of up, periods where it goes down. Recently it went down, but that makes sense because Bitcoin was in fact below the 20 week um, and, and the dominance of Bitcoin went up, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift gears over to TradingView, okay? And the current valuation is somewhat important in the sense that we are actually flirting with the 20 week moving average, the red line, our bull market support band. This is the band we like to hold as support. We held it as support from September until December. You know, this was when I was heavy accumulation. Um, if, if, you guys got, if you guys haven't followed the channel, I mean, we, we talked extensively about Link accumulating it back over here at, at one to two dollars. And then um, we even did a public video when it was $20. I told you guys, I told you guys we're in the upper upper risk region, right? Like it's not gonna go up like this forever because it just simply went up too quickly. It's all about how quickly it gets there. You know, if you ask me when I wanna sell Link or when I wanna sell anything, tell me how it got there. Don't tell me the price because if you tell me that Link goes to $100 but it just slowly goes up over the next two years, then I, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna be happy to just hold on to it. If you tell me it goes up to $300 next week, that's a different story, right? That's a different story. So it's all about you know, what you think the market can bear and not necessarily what you think the market can bear, but what does the data suggest the market can bear? How far can you push it uh, and, and expect it to hold? So th this region right now, I would say is a somewhat important region. Now you might say, well, what is it? You know, you're, let's, let's actually talk numbers. The 20 week SMA is coming in at a very modest $27.40. 27.3975 to be exact. 27.38. We're at the 20 week, folks. Okay, so the link is out the 20 week against the US dollar. Pretty important region, okay? So again, are we out of the woods? No. Why are we not out of the woods? Well, we do not yet know how long Bitcoin can hold above the 20 week. If we can hold, if Bitcoin can hold it for several weeks, then I think Link's looking great, right? I think Link's looking great. If you remember, back to back to this move when did it happen when did this move happen it happened in august of 2020 did it not what was going on in august right what was going on in august of 2020 well if we go look at the weekly chart and we go look at august of 2020 what was going on well bitcoin was above the 20 week and it was going sideways okay so the best hope in the short term that link has is that right now Bitcoin's above the 20 week and if it can just sort of come up and then go sideways, that is usually the catalyst that Chainlink needs to actually make a fairly significant move. This type of volatility by Bitcoin we know is not good for Link, okay? Now it can drag Link up for sure, but it's not good for Link. What we'd like to see is Bitcoin not going on and putting in new all-time highs if you if you own Link. I mean, obviously, I would like to see Bitcoin put in new all-time highs this cycle, but I'm just saying in the in the intermediate term, if you hold Link and you're wondering what the hell needs to happen, I would say what you would like to see happen is you would like to see Bitcoin hold above the 20 week for a few weeks. And if we can get that, then we can maybe see a similar move that we saw last August. But again, that's a big if, and this is only the first week that we've even been above the 20 week moving average, okay? So, I mean, over here, we had been above it for months, and then we made a move above it even, you know, even further above it to give you an idea of how far above it we were, about 40% 40, about 40 or so. Um, maybe not quite that, because if I'm, you know, if I'm measuring it from say over here, maybe 20 to 30%, we were above the 20 week SMA. And during that time, Link, went absolutely crazy. I mean, that, and that was sort of, I mean, it, it started the move really in, in you know, July and then finished it out in August. 
And then if, again, if you go back and look at Bitcoin, this was July right here above the 20 week. And then in August, Bitcoin went back above it. And then what happened? Bitcoin came back down and tested the 20 week. And then it was just, it was just Bitcoin, right? It was just, you know, forget everything else for a few months. It's just Bitcoin full force. Um, and, and that's what we saw play out. So we go look at Link and we say, well, this is a fairly important level. Why? Well, because when we are in a bull market, uh, when the valuation of Link USD is in a bull market, and by bull market, I mean it's actually trending up and not putting in losses of approximately a modest 75 percent then i would say you know we'd like to be back above it so this is a key area to watch the 20 week moving average we're currently trading just below it what do we need to get above it above it we need bitcoin to just sit right we need it to sit we need it to maybe even go up a little bit and go sideways that's what you would want to see if you see that you'll probably see link valuation against the us dollar going above the 20 week sma and then from there maybe we can actually have uh, another move um, but I think there's some other charts we have to talk about as well. If we go look at the link Bitcoin chart, you know, one of the, the prior support lines that we had once upon a time has sort of turned into uh, more of a resistance line at this point. Now, again, this is just a line on a chart and we're not, you know, again, we're not going to take this one to the bank, but it's just, a uh, you know, it's somewhat aesthetically pleasing to just see that we were bouncing off of this trend line for a long time and we broke it here. And then now we came back up to it, got rejected, came back up to it and got rejected. What do we need to do to go back up to it? Well, in order to get back up to the trend line, the valuation of link against Bitcoin, we need to go up about 131%. Now for a constant valuation of Bitcoin, what does that mean for link? Well, 131%, excuse me, a modest 131% would actually put link at around $64. Okay, so that would be a fairly impressive move. Again, we're only going to see that if Bitcoin stays above the 20 week and doesn't go put in new all time highs. So is it OK if Bitcoin goes up a little bit, 50K, 53K, something like that, and then goes sideways? It's still fine for Link. If Bitcoin goes in new all time highs parabolic, Link Bitcoin valuation is going to bleed. Now, I would say the most depressing chart. Well, actually, before we get to that, um, this was the, you know, we, we used to follow um, we used to follow this link Bit Bitcoin exponential fit band, right? And we have completely fallen off of that, right? In order for us to get back to it, we would need to go up about 258%. Now I'm gonna leave it on here. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna just do away with the indicator. We're gonna leave it on there because just to see if we can ever make it back. Now I said back then, it's very unlikely we hold it forever because it's an exponential fit and we cannot expect a link to gain against Bitcoin exponentially forever, right? That's just not how the market works. Um, but it will be fun to see if link can ever make a run back at that region. And in order to get back up to that region, it would imply going, going up about 250% against Bitcoin. And for a constant evaluation of Bitcoin, a 250% move would put link out of very modest, $95 or so, okay? Now, I'd say the most depressing chart is the Link Ether chart, okay? And, you know, we're not gonna hide behind it. It's down 82% since August of 2020, um, 82%. Now, I think we need to see, we need to try to understand, is that normal? Like, you know, can you see valuations of cryptos lose 80% against Bitcoin and then still go on to do anything remarkable? Why don't, why don't we go look at Ethereum? Did Ethereum ever, and by the way, this is a linear scale. If you put it on a log scale, it doesn't look so bad, but sometimes we can just, let's, let's make sure we know what we're looking at here. Linear scale, log scale, doesn't make it look so, so bad. Um, I think this will be an interesting region to watch. You know, we've seen some bounce off this region in the past. If you zoom in, is it possible it's a, a double bottom? Maybe, you know, I mean, to some degree, it's sort of like a falling knife, you don't really know. And again, you can see the Link Ether valuation bleed even if Link USD stays constant or if it goes up as long as Ethereum's going up quicker. But this is, uh, you know, this is probably the most concerning graph and this is one we'd like to see turn around. And if we were to go look at the Link Ether valuation um, uh, with the bull market support band, where are we? we would need to go up about 32% to get back up there. 
And remember, once upon a time, the link ether valuation was essentially always above the bull market support band for for that for that ticker. I mean, just look at it, right? It was just above it all throughout here, and and we've been below it for for about a year now. I mean, essentially since September of 2020, we've we've been below it, and you know we're looking, right? We're waiting, we're patient, we're waiting. Can we get back above it? Hopefully, we can at some point. But this is one of those charts that. You know, it, it, it's a falling, it's been a falling knife for the last year. And the question is, is when is it actually going to turn around? Um, my best guess is, you know, you know, the best way for it to turn around is if Bitcoin just kind of chills and, and Ethereum chills. I mean, there's always a chance Ethereum chills for a little bit because it has been pretty strong recently. And if altcoins start to make moves against Bitcoin and against Ethereum, over say August or something, then maybe this would be the time for, for Link to make the move. Now, remember, one thing we should point out is that literally every September for the last four years, Bitcoin has tested the 20 week moving average. Okay, so it tested it here, it tested it here. It also tested it right here, and Bitcoin tested it again right here. And out of, out of all four of those tests, Bitcoin held it three out of four times. Um, so that's something to consider when we, when we, when we talk about, I mean, the link USD valuation, link, the link Bitcoin valuation, something to keep in mind. Um, but again, this is the link ether valuation. And right now we are down. Now, have we seen something like that happen before? Have we seen a value drop 80% against Bitcoin and still go on to do great things? Yes, we have. Go look at Ethereum. What has Ethereum done? This is June, 2017 and it dropped 84% against Bitcoin. I mean, 84% against Bitcoin. So Link has dropped, you know, now about 82% against Ethereum. And, and against Bitcoin, it has dropped from this top over here, 65% at the current time, but at the bottom, it had dropped about 79 or 80%. And we've seen that before, right? We've seen it before. We saw it with Ethereum, Bitcoin, it dropped 80%, 84%. And you might say, well, Ben, that's not fair. You measured it at the market cycle peak. No, I didn't. This is summer of 2017, my friends. Market cycle peak for Ethereum against the US dollar was out in 2018. This was not the market cycle peak. It still bled 80%. And Ethereum still went on to put in new all-time highs against the US dollar later on that cycle, even if it didn't put in new all-time highs against Bitcoin. So that's something to keep in mind. You can see 80% drops against Bitcoin for other assets. Here's another, here's another one. 80% down against Bitcoin um, of you know, Ethereum. When it launched, we're not gonna measure that way because I don't know how accurate it is, but again, 80% down. So the idea that that Link can, can you know, that, that it can't recover from uh, an 80% drop against Bitcoin, I don't necessarily buy, I think it can. I think the fact that Ethereum's done it is proof that it's possible, not just because Ethereum did it, doesn't mean that Link's going to do it, but it does mean it's possible and it could just be the way the market works. So from here, but what do we want to see? We want to see Bitcoin stay above the 20 week. We want to see it go sideways. And if we see that, then maybe we get to see Link rally. If it if it's short lived and we don't stay, if, if, if one of two things happen, if either Bitcoin goes parabolic or we don't hold the 20 week, Bitcoin doesn't hold the 20 week, then we kick the can down the road. And I know you guys are tired of kicking the can down the road, but sometimes you just got to kick it down the road. And the constellation prize, if Bitcoin goes parabolic, then at least Link USD probably gets dragged up. If Link, if Bitcoin drops below the 20 week SMA, then the entire altcoin market is, is going to continue to bleed. So that's where we currently are. Um, we've sort of seen it steady out here against Bitcoin. And one thing we can do is, is talk about those, you know, those textbook bubbles of the linked Bitcoin valuation and, you know, recognize that we're, we're trying to get back on track. And I told you guys over here, it could take a long time to get back on track, but we're trying to prove, you know, that, hey, the, the valuation of link against Bitcoin is slowly getting back on track. Now that doesn't mean we're about to have a major move like that, but maybe it just means a slow recovery and then eventually we can have another one of those major moves. Okay, similar things if you look at the Ethereum chart, the link ether chart on a, on a linear scale here, maybe it's just that textbook bubble, right? I mean, we're on this move and now we're just trying to get back on track, okay? So I do hope to see, you know, a three figure link this market cycle. I'm very hopeful about that. You know, will it come before, before uh, this year, probably not, uh, or before the year is out, probably not. Um, could we go back down for a little bit before going back up? Of course, we'll be completely subject to whatever the hell Bitcoin wants to do. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We also do have a sale on the premium list. You can check that out in the description below and lock in the lower rate if you want to. 
but definitely check out the, the you know check out the link in the description below subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to turn on notifications give the video a thumbs up if you like the content and if you want to see more analysis on Chainlink. thank you guys for tuning in i will see you next time bye